Hello, welcome to my YouTube channel. This is uh, Sichamba Jacob. So I've got this question where we've been asked to find the value of x and y. So how do we get to find the value of x and y? This is very simple. Before I solve the question, I'm kindly asking you to subscribe to my YouTube channel and set the notification bell if you have not yet subscribed. Okay. And also follow me on my Facebook page, the same name that you're able to see, Jacobus Chamba Online Math. Okay. So here, we first get one of the, the, the equations. We can get this one or this one. So which one do you think would be easier to start with? I think we'll get this one. It looks easier. So we're going to say 2y is equal to x plus a 10 there. Okay? So once we do so, we now make uh, we now make x subject of the formula. We can make y subject of the formula, but it's way important avoid uh, to avoid fractions because if we make y subject of the formula, meaning we are going to have a fraction right here. So the best would be to make x subject of the formula. So this is how it will look like. We shall have x is equal to uh, 2y okay minus a 10 okay so you see what i've done i've just gotten uh, this crosses the equal sign it became a negative so 10 has become a negative okay so after doing that let's copy the next uh, uh equation here so that's uh 2 x power 2 plus uh, x y minus y squared is equal to negative 16. So I've just copied the next equation, which is this one. So now what are we going to do to this? Since we have made x subject of the formula, we are going to substitute this. Okay, wherever we see x, we put this. So we have x, 2y minus 10 there, power 2. Okay, and then we say plus... 2y minus 10 there, and a y minus y power 2 is equal to negative 16. Okay, this looks pretty good. So next, we are going to work out here this power 2. We must get rid of this power 2. So what we're going to do here is to write 2, 2y minus 10x Again, 2y minus 10x. So this means what I've just written here. Meaning you multiply this by itself. And then you say plus 2y minus 10 there. We have a y here minus y power 2 is equal to negative 16. Okay. So we can now work out things here. We are going to get a 2 there. Here when you multiply this, will give us a... 4y power 2, this by this, negative uh, 20y, this by this, negative 20y, this by this, it's positive 100, okay? And then we say plus what we have right here, that is, uh, that is uh, 2y minus 10 and the y there minus y squared is equal to negative 16. I've just copied this one, okay? I want to make sure that you understand all the steps. So now from here, we can clean up here. We have a 2, 4y, power 2. Here, we have a, that there. It will be 40y. It was negative 20y minus 20y. It will give us a negative 40y plus 100 there, plus we have 2y minus 10 there, y minus y squared is equal to negative 16, okay? So now from here, if you can see nicely, we can get rid of the brackets. So we shall have 8y power 2 minus 80y plus 200. I've just multiplied these two by everything that is inside the brackets. So we're getting plus here, uh, 2y power 2 minus here, 10y 
minus y power a 2. Okay. y power 2 is equal to uh, negative 16. Alright, so now from here, we can group the like terms. So we have 8y power 2 plus 2y power 2 minus y power 2. So this and this and this, they are like terms. We have negative uh, 8, 80, y there, minus 10, y. So this, we move with this, plus 200 uh, plus uh, 16. This will cross the equal sign, so it will come here. It will be plus uh, 16, which is equal to a 0. Okay. So here, we can clean up. When we clean up here, we're getting a 9y power 2. Okay. Because 8y power 2 plus 2y power 2, it will give us a 9, 9y power 2. Uh, I mean, to give us 10y power 2 minus this one here, it will give us 9y power 2. Minus here we shall get a 90y and here we are going to get a 216 which is equal to a 0. Okay, so now from here we can reduce the, the numbers. So we divide by 9 throughout. So here it will cancel. We shall remain with y power 2 minus 10y plus 24 is equal to a 0. This and this will give us this one. This and this will give us this one. Here we'll get a zero. Okay. So now from here, we can solve the quadratic equation. So we solve this quadratic equation. We find the factors. So it will be y power 2 minus, uh, minus uh, 4y minus 6y plus 24 is equal to zero. So I guess you know how to solve quadratic equation. Or equations by factorization so uh, here we find what is common here and here between this and between this so what is it that is common there it's a y power y minus 4 there here it's a negative 6 so it will be negative 6 here we shall have y minus 4 there is equal to a 0 now from this stage we get this and this Remember, I'm just solving the quadratic equation here. So in case you don't know how to solve the quadratic equation, make sure you check one of my videos on how to solve a quadratic e equation by factorization. So here we say y minus 6 is equal to 0 or y minus 4 is also equal to 0. Of which when we solve, the value of y here will be 6 and here will be a 4. So we have found two solutions of y. So after finding these two solutions of y, we come back or we go back to here. We get this. Okay. So we're going to say uh, x is equal to 2y minus 10. So this will help us find the x value. So we're going to say equal to 2, 6 there, minus 10. So y value here is 6. When, when y is equal to 6, what is the value of x? So we solve this. We shall get a 12 here minus 10, of which it will just give us a 2. So the other solution, the y value here is a, a 2. Okay? The same here, x is equal to 2y minus 10. We put or we substitute a 4 here where y is. So we're going to get a 4 here or put a 4 there and a 10. Here it will be 8 minus 10 of which our solution will just be a negative 2. So the x value is negative 2 and here negative 2. The y value is a 6 and a 4 there. Thank you so much for watching. Remember to subscribe. This has been Sichamba Jacob. Bye-bye.